Welcome back to Signals on ITO 1.3 Lagos Talks. This morning we'll be looking at marketing mix then and now. Now I have with me, um, she's the head of marketing comms at Credit Suite, one of Nigeria's leading value added service providers. Uh, has 10 years of agency and client side experience in strategy. Ah, in strategic <laughs> marketing management and development. Don't mind me. And um, she has an extensive experience and knowledge in media planning, buying integrated marketing comms. Now, um, she has demonstrated her ability to lead teams in development of sustainable marketing strategies for clients with global profiles and local markets, developing creative solutions that has resulted in brand growth for a variety of brands. I have with me this morning, Enito Kutum. Welcome to Signals. Um, you can come directly to the mic with everybody see you. Okay. Hi, hello. Good morning. Good morning, Mom. Now we're talking marketing mix. I, I'd like you to stand. So let's have this conversation. Okay, let's get into it. Yes. Um, there's this era of um, the new marketing for tech, where people now have to dance <laughs> to be able to sell their products and services. What are your thoughts on it? Well, if you have to dance to be able to sell your product. Please go ahead and dance. Mm. But how about you understand effective techniques that can actually convert to sales for you without dancing or with a little bit of dancing as well? You know, we know okay. that we Nigerians, it's so common for us to, you know, always follow trends because my competitor, my, my competition is doing it. I want to do it also, but that is not the way it's supposed to go you are supposed to know the product that you are selling understand your own product understand who your target market is you know to be able to coin and divine and uh, device communication messages that will resonate with them and you're not having to dance all the time exactly because i, I begin to wonder why um you see somebody who wants to sell a market and you're wondering why is this person dancing the person is desperate but there are other measures that can be taken you know? okay so tell us about the measure so that we just you know by the time um people go online because online is almost the new market right now and um they don't need to just see somebody dance you're telling me what you're selling okay first of all you need to know your product and you need to know your target market you know you know you need to know who your business drivers are so that whatever communication that you're creating for them you're speaking directly to them you know um you need to understand their pain points for every product that you come up with as a business owner as a business manager it needs to um, address a problem a challenge in the life of your potential customers and by understanding their pain points then you can come around and become the hero you know to help them solve these challenges these problems they are having you need to have a product that is fit for the market you know you don't just come up one day and say oh because this person is selling this product and this person is striving you're just going to come around and do the same thing no you need to think about the society the people nigerians Lagosians, what it what is it that they are facing what is their pain point and how can you help you know how can you help you need to be present with your customers as well you know it's easier you know it's 10 times easier selling to an existing customer than a new one you know so you need to be present with your customers you need to always be willing to ask what more can i do how can i help you know, you need to be ready to go an extra mile for your customer so it's not just about the dancing it's not okay. all about the social media metrics where you just you know come up with so much marketing content you come up with the budget but are you really solving a problem you know are you impacting your customers are you psyching with them emotionally are you are you empathetic towards what they are feeling with the solutions that you are providing for them that they will look at oh this person understands it you know this brand gets it now we have we have a lot of people selling because we're talking about um brands we're talking marketing mix then and now now before it used to be about traditional marketing where radio tv ads but now we're in an era where it's um you are either on social media or your business is dying which i sometimes try to battle with because it's not everybody that, that is online but again you've mentioned um having to be in sync with the customer and then somebody saying i've done everything somebody's listening to you this morning and saying i've done everything to do but i have still not gotten that one customer okay 
So first, the most important part of creating a marketing communication strategy is understanding who your target market is. We keep saying understand who your target market is, okay. right? But there's sometimes you think that you have a product for everybody. You cannot have a product for everybody. Okay. Your product needs to identify its customer. There is someone experiencing pain. There's someone there's someone that needs your product. Your product cannot be for everybody. So you need to identify your own target market. What the product is you are designing for them. How can it help them? How can it be a solution into someone's life? You cannot just come up and say, okay, this product is going to appeal to everybody. That is not mm. possible. Your, your product needs to speak to a particular demographics, you know, a particular side graphics who let's okay let's define let's define customer avatar Let, let's okay let's define um, signals mm. you know you start Everybody by saying signals. Signals. <laughs> signals 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 is a product you yes, know people is. are coming on signals to sell their product so yeah. you are looking at the demographics of your audience where are they calling from mm. what you know what 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 is their pain point they are coming here to sell their business because maybe they don't have enough revenue Hmm. You know, they don't have enough revenue to put their products on social media or to go on traditional media to do radio adverts. So they are coming to you. So you are solving a problem for them. You know, you are making it easier for them to reach their prospects without even having to pay a dime. You are solving a problem. You cannot say, so you cannot say, oh, my product is for everybody. Because mm -hmm. people that don't have business will not call into signals. True, they will true. not call into signals to sell their product. True. So you need to identify the problem and then create a solution to it. And then you will see your customers coming to you for the solution. Mm. I like that angle. Now let's look at people who are selling um, shift for the regular word or cricket right um people say okay we know yaba as where people go down to bend and pick up their clothes now i've i've realized that and, and we're going to use um we're going to use thrift the let me just use the normal term that everybody understands the okrika clothes okrika <laughs> okay bend down select <laughs> okay so and I, I realized that it has evolved from people going to yaba because yaba has um happens to be the place where people go for clothes right now i've moved from people no longer I see them, I still see them, but they now move to Instagram. So they, they find a way, and I like it. I, I, li I like the innovation around it. They find a way to iron the clothes and say, okay, this is thrift collection and all of that. Now, what are your thoughts on that? I absolutely love it. And to be honest, I do patronize them. It's all right. It's good. Yes, I do patronize because they've made it easier. Yes, instead you of you having to exactly, go this is through what we are people. Saying. You need to identify the pain point. You won't see corporate people going around, you know, moving up and down mm. in India by having people drag them here and there to purchase. They've, they've brought the service closer to us, you know. You can sit in the comfort of your home. The only challenge you will have with these people is the moment they post, <laughs> someone is buying it. Like their market is selling because they have identified that there is a problem. There's a market for this, mm. you know. People don't, want to, to go, exactly, people don't clothes. want to go through all of that stress to go to Yaba anymore to go and buy their clothes. You know, people are classier now. Now, in those days, when we were in school, you know, we would just... <laughs> cross the um the bridge. bridge we'll just cross the bridge and the railway and we would go to yaba and we'll bend down and sell it but we're all grown now busy you know making yeah, cage, classy. you know yes yeah, being all classy but that does not mean we still don't have our eyes in some corners of yaba where they sell this quality item so mm. with these people they are so smart that they've identified that there is a problem true and so they have brought the product closer so you can you're going out there and you're wearing this dress and if i told you this dress was a trip Outfits, would you believe mm -hmm. me? No, because they brought it closer to me, and so it's easier. If you don't want to be seen, you don't have to be seen. In here, those sister don't come here by market, come shop. Yeah, don't come here by market. That used to be me when I was in school. You know, they would call me in here, those sister don't come market, come shop. Mm. You know, now I don't have to go through all of that. The product has been brought closer to me, and that 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 is what people need to start thinking. You know, you need okay. to start identifying the potentials of this market. You know, there are so many untapped markets in this country. You know that people are not really looking into now I, I like the fact that you talked about untapped market the question is it's not everybody that has an eye for untapped market so what should we look out for for somebody we saying okay fine i'm tired of um, i don't know what else to do what do i begin to look out for okay so you look out for partnerships also you may not have a product to sell but you may have a service to sell okay you know we have a lot of um social media vendors these days i think majority of nigerians shopping now come on social media you know so mm. you can you can think of partnership you don't have a product but you, you know you have some free time off your hand you have a car you know you can partner with these people and run deliveries 
you know it's not just uber now it's not just uber. we're talking about product partnering with people that have product you know you can offer your expertise to them also so it does not always have to be services you just need to look in depth and find out what you're passionate about you know what you know that you know what you believe can drive you and then you can monetize that you know really, it does not have to be oh i have a problem selling this area you may sell a service you know there are so many people who need you everyone is unique in their true, way you know there's, there's something inside of you so you can look inward and think okay this is a service i can you know this is a service if you know how to dance okay so you want to start creating content for people mm -hmm. and you want to dance it, you know do these things whatever you, there is something there's always something more you can do that does not have to do with you going to the market to purchase product so service also is a good platform for you to sell if you believe that you have it in you now i have a service to sell right you've talked about having to look at other people and see there's always a market gap now for somebody who wants to go into partnership you, you also understand that people have nigerians have a trust deficit well so how do i trust this person to say okay i can give you um this product now i remember that most market women and i and i, I respect those women a lot where you go and meet them and say that you know when you go and meet a nigerian mother who is selling i say that ma i want to buy something i don't know how to buy it i don't know how to and then they help you right how then do we um translate that from you know nigerian mothers they, 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 they have a way of just looking at you let me say i help you <laughs> but then you know we've become so classy now that we're wondering how am i going to trust you <laughs> so partnership is is it's one of the most overlooked and it takes a very long time because before it comes into fruition mm. you know it, it takes time because it's not easy building trust first you need sure. to identify a brand that you share common goals with you know okay, you may good. not align on every level mm. but to some extent you need to share some likeliness you know you need to you need to be alike in some ways you need to share some of your goals together you you, you remember the time when we we're growing up and it was all about um, a particular brand i don't know if i can mention the name I, of the brand I, it's it's it, um it's a snack brand we would buy in traffic and a particular drink you know yes, the yellow they, and grey wrap they work really, together and they work so well together you know over the years when we were growing up it was all about those two brands yeah. then they ask you what do you want i want this, this and I, I want that. that you know i think they had taken you know the opportunity those days you know to sync the brand to create a synergy between those brands even though they tried to do it some mm, not too long yeah, ago we moved on. Not, we, exactly we have moved on so when you recognize that there's an opportunity for you to partner with a brand or partner with someone if you think that that synergy is going to work you should go for it don't wait until oh it's too late or until you're not making sales before you synergize it takes time to build trust but start small you know okay. start small I, I like the idea of starting small it's just like bread and beans you see our going you, exactly you, you see, see our going you see a little bread you see for more you will see yes, fish. Fish. and now they even package it with with soft drink because it all goes together so identify those winning supporting sticks that is what like marketing that. mix is like actually that. about marketing mix is a combination you know of those factors that can influence People, your the value process. delivery hmm. You know, while we were in school, we thought the four, the, yeah. you know, the four piece of, 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 of the marketing mix. It was the product, it was the product, place. it was the place, it, it was, was the price, price, it was promotion. It was promotion. But over the years, you know, the, the concept of marketing has remained the same, but marketing mix has evolved beyond that. It's, it's beyond you just having a product to sell. You know, it's it's beyond the pricing, which is the value pr proposition that you attach to to your goods. So it's beyond that. It's it's beyond promotion. Also, promotion is all about the advertising, the PR concept, your event marketing, the, the word of mouth, the referrals. I tell my I tell my clients like the moment that as a brand you you ascend to that stage where someone raves about your product to someone and they say, oh this this brand, you know this this particular person this cost this, this client serve you know i love them so much you need to give them a try you have just become a god on your own hmm. you know you've achieved that god you, status you have achieved the god status when you know people are raving about your product and they are referring you to people that you need to try them let's let's give an instance now let's say um 
okay this hair let's say there are two vendors that this one i've been patronizing for a while and there's a new one and then you let's put the pricing into into play here this as well one, as 190 exactly let's say this hair cost hundred thousand naira and there's another person whose hair also cost hundred thousand but both of them are striving for your attention mm. you know and this one says oh you have to pay at once and this one comes to you and say okay you know what we understand the economic situation okay you have my attention we, exactly we understand what is going on in the country and to make this easy on you why not do your payment three times hmm. you know that is understanding, putting yourself in your customer's shoes. That is being empathetic, you know. Empathy goes into the room before you walk in. When people are able to yes. connect, you know, with you on some level that this person... You know, when you when I just told you, you know, that, you know, pay three times, you know. Yes. Uh, Did it mean something to you? It, it meant a lot. It meant a lot because <laughs> I understand you. I understand what you're going through. And then when I'm packaging my product, which is another P in marketing, another addition to, to the marketing mix. Mm. It's it's the packaging. And when I'm packaging the physical it, evidence. Exactly. When I'm packaging it, I'm looking at it. Okay, um, I think this lady, I like lady need, this lady is going to need a wig cap. So let me just add a wig cap to it. It's mm. a freebie, you know. She needs, or let me add a silk bonnet to it to retain moisture in her hair. <laughs> We are advertising this week. <laughs> you know, it's time to change. <laughs> to, to retain some moisture mm. in, in my customers. Yeah, let me do this. This, this. this these are the extra efforts you put into you know your market, into your product, your part. It is not just about the price now because you're mm. selling at the same price this mm -hmm. person is selling. But what distinguishes you? You know, that that difference. You you need to stay yeah, because there are so many brands <laughs> out there offering great service, great product, but you just need to look for that factor. You the know edge. that sound bite. Yeah, that edge to just hmm. kick Boom. It Okay, before she booms me away first, uh, the signals business. Ah, you see, signals business with my mom. The signals on night 1.3. We're talking marketing mix then, and now what can you do? Well, with what you have in your hand, what can you do with the business? Even if you don't have the large amount of money, how are you able to get into the minds and arts of customers? If you have a question for her, comment for Toby. Um, call us, WhatsApp, WhatsApp 009 234 5913. Or call us 9 Now, um, I, I'm going to use an example of one of the callers who says she sells handcraft because I think that's stuck a bit. Um, now, for handcraft, right, an example, we're using the lady's business. How is she able to get more people to buy a handcraft product? Okay, so already she has a product. And yes. there's an existing, you know, she's got our existing customers. Mm -hmm. Why not? You oh, see? oh, the second of okay. the Hello, good morning. Come on. Hello. Hi, good morning. No, good morning, Good morning, Oshuli. Ah. <laughs> you know where you're calling us from, Miss? You know, it's speaking. Oh, you know, Mola. Aha, because I was the boy, you're the only one that calls me <laughs> by that. Okay, question for my guest or comment. Yeah, yeah, she, she's spoken like a true pastor. Of I see. Even me, I'm running mean, away this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm very impressed. Yes, I am. Uh, so, what, what do you be? Yeah. Uh, so, so I do marketing too. Okay. Uh, but you, you tend to encounter clients um, who, who do not want to spend. Yes, sir. But some guys who actually you think have the money. Um, <laughs> have you navigated that? Um, that challenge mm. and also um we have uh challenge the the not so good product <laughs> but you still want to get into the hands of people mm. um how do you uh, navigate that challenge also thank you thank you okay um so the yes. people that have money but they don't want to spend it's 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 not true it's not true that they have money and they don't want to spend you need to provide them with value for what they are but we are providing for. people with value but you you want you're you actually you in nigeria no, no 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 this is what happens you mm. know you see when you are on the say the client side you know there are three sides there are yes. many sides but in our industry you have the client mm -hmm. you have the supplier and then you have the agency so it's usually the client <laughs> The agency and <laughs> the then supply, the supplier. The you, see, I, I've been, you, you know, I've walked the whole realm of this. True. I've been, I've been on the client side. I, I'm on the client side right now, but I've been on the agency side and I've been on the supplier side. This is, the, 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 like, this is what we do. We just assume that this client has money. Uh -uh. That is, yeah, but it money, is, how money? Is it, 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 that is not the case because I, you see, this is this is. 
is marketing 101. Mm. You know, my boss told me the moment I walked into the first agency I worked, he told me that just believe that every person that walks into that door and says they are from so 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 agency or they are this they are that they know they are selling this with this this platform just know they are here to take your money <laughs> and it is the truth because you just think oh, yes. I, I used to think so too it was like that for me too when i was on client side on supplies you just want to sell you see we, i come across so many proposals on a daily basis and people are just telling me this is what i believe we have audited your website this is what we believe is going to work for you you know we, we have seen you some people have not even tried they've not even downloaded the app that i'm, I'm you know i'm marketing mm. they've not even gone on they've not even checked out the product, but they just believe you know they have solutions for something they have not even experienced and they just believe that the money is ready readily available they don't understand that as a marketing person as they you know the middleman between your age because you are the one taking the punches from your management mm -hmm. and then relaying the message to them you know you don't think you, they just believe that the money is readily available in the covers of the company mm. ready to come but it does not work that way mm. except you are bringing me value because i come across so many proposals on it except i see uh, i want to see zeros i want to see how many zeros behind it you want to tell me how many app download okay. I'm going so to so get. this is leading us to data right this is leading us to the question of data i i know that i recently encountered one to myself where the person is asking i've we've, we've asked all the questions back to back and we've answered and then all of a sudden you're telling me data and i'm wondering how do i manufacture data so there's soft data that is hard data you are saying okay i need to transact and i'm wondering okay um how am i going to go about this because sometimes i, I feel that most clients ask for the ridiculous if there's any word for an exaggeration for ridiculous oh, Shady, i believe that you make this is a business yeah this is a business right and there are other agencies also that are into data research spend some of this money also the data is out there you just need to reach for it uh -huh. you need to dip into your pocket <laughs> but, but it is the truth they're all offering services so when agent you know the the money needs to go around mm. in the industry you know mm. it's coming to you from the client this money needs to go to suppliers also it needs to go to research agencies also there are research agencies now in the industry that their data are trusted you have ips you know the likes of ipsos you have money yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 and the like of them bringing out this data for you so you can only so you are agreeing that we have data yes the data is readily available if you're ready to pay for it because it is not free okay Ah uh, no, I agree. I agree. I agree. I want to say something. Agree this no, 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 and then you, you, and then see. It's not just about. Okay, it's not just about third-party data. Now they have data that you derive internally. Also, true, you have access to your customer base. True, true. You know their data. Those ones you can. Yeah, those you, ones you can those too. You can, those you can. Put, but when you've grown your business to an extent, then you are above just you know dishing out your internally generated data. Okay. You've grown because you begin when you grow. I you begin agree. to ask for. You, you begin to ask for more money, and you know the more the money the budget you're asking for from your customers mm -hmm. from your clients well the more the expectation on you also to provide data that are verifiable you know that they can take anywhere and you'll be able to quantify them and justify them with world okay. best practice ha, ha. okay uh we're in the we'll also talked about bad products encountered bad products so I've, i have encountered bad products <laughs> and i'm sorry to say that it is wicked it is pure wickedness because we, you're playing with the feelings of your customers and so when you now get it right you know we say this where in my company at credit it's, it's it's better you know i keep telling them it's better not to go to market keep your go to market strategy in the back end until your product is Just good good like good so good that you know it can bounce back from anything but when you think okay because this product is ready you just want to push it and you've not really tested you you know there are so many <laughs> so many factors to cut because once you go into the market with a bad product there's no returning from that yes we, we, we yes i understand what you're saying perfectly but then again we still have a lot of bad product that is so hard to sell and they're expecting that you do magic Oh, ah. You want the business, don't you? Should you? Yeah, we, should, you, should you be wanting a business that is a bad but, but product? You don't even know that it's a bad product. But it's time, you, you know, for for a lot of for a lot of time. Okay, so let's an example of a lot of apps. There are a lot of apps on Google Play Store and iOS Store that by the time you download it, it is not user friendly, and the interface is trouble. You see, that 
that is why you are their client. You're supposed to actually give them the feedback before you start promotion. I said something about experiencing a brand, you know, before you promote for them. Okay. It's very important. I know these are things, you know, agency want the business. You know how many agencies want our business? Agents, they want the business. I'll give you an example of someone in an agency who I consider a friend. And I thought, have you downloaded my app? And I say, oh, okay, I'm going to. And it was like, oh, your app, eh, give us the business now. And I'm like, have you downloaded the app? Have you experienced the app? Mm. I was like, eh. Then he started sending me, you know, brokers of, you know, other, other, you know, brands okay, in so the what same you were category. looking for what you were looking for was trust what you were looking for was experience and yes and then he started sending me all of those information and i looked and i was like okay so what should i do with all of this so busy wrong guys person to send something to <laughs> because said, so what do i do he said those are people where they let our records speak for us and i'm privy to this data to the data of these people that he sent to me and i know that they are not doing so well but he just he believed they could bamboozle me with, with the fact that oh, you are the most <laughs> <laughs> you know, because the fact that they no, handle, no, no, they handle the this thing, stuff. Right? And then, hold on. And then okay. I asked him, okay, try my product. And then when he tried my product, he, when he downloaded my product, he was looking for everything wrong in the product. And like, but, but you know, a few I, months I would, of you know, I would love it as a feedback, you know. I would actually appreciate a good feedback. But, you know, he was like, he was hunting for something, you know. And then, you know, he was doing a video and was telling me he tried to, he tried to change. The first thing this, <laughs> this, 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 this person did, when he downloaded my app, he tried to change the DP, you know, put his image, <laughs> change the avatar to his image. And he was like, he keeps trying to do it. He's not doing it. This is, this is rubbish. This is a rubbish. Yeah, but that's what you just have told him that we're still test, test running. I, no, no, no. I tried it on my app. I, mean, I tried it on someone else. I unboarded to, to actually see. Maybe it was his fault, you know. I, I called my tech guys, you know. I called my curator. I said, check this. Is something wrong? It is, so, it was his fault. And, you know, he just said that thing like this. But as patient as I am, because he happened to be a customer, a potential customer at that time, I told him I would look into it. And, you know, positive feed, you want as, as a business owner, you want yeah, positive true, feedback. True. Sometimes the feedback you get. May not be so positive, you but it, yes. But still, they say customers are always right. Mm -hmm. You just have to take the, you know, but take the customers feedback. Really right? No, not all the time. We know that, don't we? Yes, we know customers that. are not always right, but how do we they, then they are still job. king. They are king. Are they really king? Oh yes. In this are, era, yes, they are still king. Customers are still king. They still <laughs> pay your bills, don't they? It, I, 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 I sort of beg to disagree, and and uh, and let me play a little. Let's look for trouble a bit. Okay. Now. Um, you buy. <laughs> I want to look for trouble. So, okay. so let's look for trouble. Too. Now you buy a product from product or a service from from someone, and you know, in your heart of hearts, you are about to exchange value. It is fine. It is okay, right? And then the, the customers from hell. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> the customers from hell now says, no, everything is wrong with the product and service. But you know that you have done. All of your due diligence. How do you handle that kind of person? But because you wake up in the morning. And you, okay, typical example. Um, you want to buy something from the women on the roadside, by the roadside, and they want to buy, and you start to price their products. Mm -hmm. And so, so you know, Nigeria women. By the time they send you one, so you will leave their side. Now we can't do that because again, we're trying to be very in terms of what's classy. But you know that what they are saying is wrong. How do you now address that? You see, you can't say it's wrong because you're looking at yourselves from different reality. The reality hmm, of the okay. customer is different from your own reality. Okay. If the customer says this is bad, like this is not what I expected, the customer is telling the truth from the customer's perspective. This is why I say you have to, you know, you can't always think that, okay, because I've verified, I've looked at it, it's right. You need to put you understand the, what the, where the customer Pain is coming points. from. Exactly. Why the customer keeps saying this is but not don't be, right. I, don't, we, I understand the pain point, but the person is still a... It's torn. If you understand that customer's pain mm. point enough, then you will stop hurting and try to solve that customer's problem because you would not want that customer to get away. Okay. You need to always, as, as a business owner, you need to always put yourself in the customer's shoes. I'll give you an example. Um, last week was my birthday, yeah, and true. so I ordered for some makeup product from a vendor that I've patronized for at least two years, and then she sent me the wrong shade of powder. Okay. You know, then. I sent her a message immediately. I received it that, Madam, you sent me a wrong shade. She didn't answer, and I saw that she read the message on Instagram. The third day, I said, you sent me a wrong... And she didn't answer. So if I go I mean, online now, you know, if I go online now and I start bashing her that, you know, this is what you did, and then she will start saying, oh, no, you should have come to the DM, but I have attended to you the DM mm. twice, and you didn't... So you need to... And I've patronized her for 
two years. She's done it to me before. But you know, so we customers like also we understand. It's not the customers are not aliens. You know, they understand. They understand. They, they also have businesses. We also go to work, so we mm. understand you too. So it goes both ways. You need sometimes you need to put yourself. Am I going to patronize that woman next week? No. Next month? No. Maybe next year? Yes. Because mm. at the end of the day, I'm still going to see Madam and think that okay, maybe it was an oversight. You know, okay. maybe it was someone handling. Okay, so this, this is this is you this is you talking about we giving grace to exactly okay it goes both ways you know mm, okay it signals a night to one point three we're having an interesting conversation marketing mix then and now call us if you have questions or comments what's up zero zero nine two three four five nine one three or zero zero nine one nine one three nine one three well let's go back to yeah she's still here <laughs> we're having fun <laughs> how, about, how about we talk about people okay in the marketing mix go ahead you know, the people that you hire to represent your brand you know to, mm. to preach about your brand's persona to okay. the public how about we talk about them how about we talk about the workforce you know that you <sighs> that you recruit we know that the workforce is a major challenge in our society Hmm. at the moment you, you know we see the influx of people leaving the country yeah so jackpot.com exactly jackpot.com we see that happening every day what can you do as a business owner to retain your workforce hmm. okay so are we going to uh, <laughs> are we going to increase no it's, it's, not, it's, it's, not, it's really it's not about it's money it's not about the money it's, it's about, about how you treat your workforce it's not just about it's how you treat your workforce do you train yeah, because i see the fears in ceos and in business owners the fears of training their employees because they believe that when they train them they, they are going go. to go away forgetting the fact that the moment they are still working within your company they are adding value they are the real you know they are the new man between you customers. and your customers the most important people that matter you know the most important people that matter people you know they they are the ones relating with your customers so how are you training them of skilling them you know to make sure that they meet world class you know yeah, best but, but practice you, but Toby, you really can't blame most CEOs and business but owners. I am not I'm just saying that for your business well, sake for the meantime that they are still with you exactly for the time that they are with you and be the interface between your company and your customers you need to do what is right by your business mm. as a business owner Okay, we'll take a break and when we come back, she's asking me for cough cough. I don't know what cough cough is. We'll be right back after this. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> That's okay. I did not have cough cough for you, dog. Uh, what's cough cough again? Kiss Daniel now. Jesus. <laughs> um, you, you cannot say that because because people, you know, because your 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 is going to resign that you will not. Do. As long as last person is not I know cough cough. I know cough cough. I know cough cough. But I'll play something else for you at the end of the program. Um, so let's go back. I think my time is almost up. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Welcome back to Signals on I21.3. We're talking uh, marketing mix then and now with Anyton Toby Kuto. Well, she's the head of Credit Switch. Ed Marketing comes at Credit Switch. Now, um let's go back quickly to online vendors okay. now for somebody who is saying that they have phone now where everybody has a smartphone yeah. at least a smartphone if you don't have if you're not on instagram you can be on whatsapp and you have status mm. <laughs> they can do status now for, for somebody who has um, a product and is tired how do they sell that would not be that will not be as if they are making too much noise you know sometimes by the time people upload whatsapp for example they upload their different products or services on status people just people people play it like tv people now play their whatsapp status like tv or they just don't want to check at all how then do i get attention of people the necessary attention that yes you need. when you're growing your social media base when mm. you're growing your social media in your customer base it needs to be organic at first Organic. You know, okay. I know a lot of people jump right into it by buying sponsorships, mm -hmm. you know, influential marketing and all of that. Not building loyal, organic people. People. You know, people that are really interested in what you have to sell, in what you have to offer. Start by building your, you know, followers organically. 
Okay, so not being a nuisance. How do yes, I avoid not be, being... Not be, when you understand your you, when you understand your customer persona, when you build your customer advantage, you already know what appeals to your customer. You know their media consumption habits. You know their con you know you, you, you know their content consumption. You've seen their engagement on the kind you post, you know, you, you try. Just like when you're running a social media campaign, you use the A, B splits, you mm -hmm. know, you've tried different communications and you've seen the one that appeals to them the most, the one they engage with the most. Why not stick, you know, be consistent with your strategy. Because A is doing this, this is making all the noise does not mean that it is what your customers are. You don't mm -hmm. have, you cannot have two customers that are alike. You know, their sure. own customers are their own, but yours is yours. So how about you focus on your existing customers and you create content, you know, that will appeal to them and do not overflog them with it. Okay. As little as every communication that you pass across to your customer, remember to always add your city, your call to action at the end of it. Come and buy market, come and buy market, come that, No, 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 that, no, that's <laughs> not the way, that is. That is not the way you say. They are creating ways, you know, to add call to action without making noise and overflow. But, but you know that this new thing that people do, that, uh, please patronize me so that I don't go and do X, Y, Z. What do you think about it? Well, I don't, I don't know who their audience are. You know, if you have this kind of audience following you that they will be able to relate and see it as humor, then it's okay. Mm. But it depends on, on, on your followers, on the audience that you're building, on the village, on the community that you're trying to build. If the, if the kind of people that you, that you know, they're following you, follow you, if they value such kind of content, it's okay. Give so them. it boils down to you knowing who, who, they are. who they are exactly, understanding their media habits and see how they engage. If you think they engage, if such content have been posted and they engage with it, it means they, they, are, they enjoy it. So keep, keep at it. You'll be, but just be consistent with your marketing strategy. So, Don't so be here and there. Okay. If, if, uh, so for how long? Now let's, 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 let me, let me point out something. For I'm consistent. I sell, I have the right market and I still have not made a sale. This is a major headache where most business owners, most people starting out, even selling their wigs, their lipsticks, can still just say, even with the, um, with the pay, small small that you have um, alighted can't still just say okay where is that customer i hope it's not village people that are coming for me you need to go back to your strategy you need to go back to your you know to the beginning to mm. the product if you have a product that nobody is buying with all you know you, you with all the effort you've put into and nobody is buying it then you need to go back to the drawing table and really really have a talk with yourself evaluate you know at the end of every marketing campaign that we do we have to evaluate you know we need to see if this if there's been return on investment if there's been engagement you know we need to measure they are measuring metrics you know to measure how successful a campaign is or a brand communication that we put out there so you need to go back when it's not working it's just like creating you know a sales funnel Hmm. You you create a sales funnel. You keep putting, you know, all your your lead generation. They keep going in one thousand at first. Then as it trickles down, it goes down, and you convert maybe five. You take out the five, then you start nurturing them, you know, and then you go back again. So wow. you you keep going. You keep revising your plan. You know, your marketing plan, your strategy needs to be revised on a monthly basis if if that is achievable. Hmm. For depending on the size of your organization. Now my time is up, but I'm going to do it one is. thing. Um. It's been 10 years of doing this. How does it feel like? <laughs> I feel like I was born to do this. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, then. Um, one word for somebody who is listening and still can't navigate selling, can't still navigate one, knowing what to do. Go back to the drawing board and, okay. and please come up with a product that can solve problems you need to you need to come up with a hero product a product that is going to come wearing cape to uh, solve I'm problems uh -huh. yes. i can go and look for buga for you <laughs> uh, well thank you so much thank, thank you, you so much, much. for having me there on me thank yes. you signals. thank you lagos talks 91.3 yeah. fm let's do this again soon yeah. all right yeah. uh, I, I will come back for you so we'll come your way again <laughs> next week saturday like we always say thank you so much to um to Raya, Fola, Jimmy, and to Bury for joining me this morning. And to everybody who has called in, thank you, Indamola, and to everybody who has called in, taking notes. Um, I'm still going to look for our trouble. Have a wonderful week. Create opportunities for people. And because people will be people, keep creating. Have a wonderful week and God bless. <laughs> That's okay, because we all want. Mm -hmm. Have you 
you've been disconnected mm. because you didn't link your national Hello, identification everybody. number Thank to you your so NIN number, Thank you. don't Let's worry. Do if you already have your NIN 